Hi everyone, Emma here. So it is time for the 6K giveaway. So I'll be giving away six kits to make these beautiful bracelets. And these are original designs from Mila's Beading. So definitely take a look at her channel. I have so many of them booked marked to make and I find they're easy to follow and they always make me happy and they usually involve stuff that I have. So, you know, that's frustrating when you go to make something, you realize you need items. So there you go. And I'm just going to point out this area here turned out really nice. These are special components that uh, they have like rhinestones in the setting and they're these kind of snap openings like that and um, they fit really well on the pearls they probably fit really well on a um, a uh, rondelle or even um, a faceted crystal and somebody mentioned about using um, bead caps as well and actually I have seen designs with a bead cap on the bottom here that kind of match the top so definitely there's lots of little variations and then somebody else mentioned about omitting the pearls and just attaching them directly from square to square and that would totally work you would just have to be sure that your thread is not super tight otherwise it will want to lay flat rather than rounded around your wrist so there's that the other thing i wanted to let you know people have asked about where to buy these clasps so if you take a look at my previous aliexpress uh, unboxing it's probably about three videos before this one um, it looks if you look at the icon picture it looks like it's all crystals so you might miss it but it is the only link that I put in there is the link for these and the reason I mention it and I will probably show it at the end of this as well so you can see for yourself and just freeze the screen is um, because it was the cheapest one I could find and this one this company I think it's uh, dot two or something like that but I'll show you um, they advertise their price as a dollar 22 and a lot of them will do that they'll advertise the lower price of say 20 different items they have to kind of get your attention and get you on the page now I usually don't purchase from people who use those tricks I'm like you can't fool me <laughs> but you know what I was feeling depressed and decided you know what I'm gonna buy something that I have been avoiding buying just because the cost that something that's really pretty that's gonna make me happy and that's why I ended up with these and I bought the funny part is I bought the ones with like the flowers and the hearts and different designs and the circles and then the ones with multiples of these so some of them have three of these on it let me see if I can enlarge this a little so some of them had three of these on a circle and the circle had a crystal to actually have the tray here let's see they're kind of all apart now but the reason I mentioned that is I ended up using so here's the heart one it is beautiful I ended up using just the clasp one like this one here on a bracelet and creating my own closure with beads and I think it turned out really nice so you may want these were the ones that were $1.22 and it came as a set of two as if you would make your bracelet with both of them on it uh, which you can do absolutely but I just took them apart that way it's it's about 50 cents so it's a little more expensive a closure than I'm used to paying but it really really fancies up your bracelet so you can make your own closure like that there's all kinds of designs on how to do your closure 
and you just clip it in like that and close it. So there you go. So I don't want to wait any longer. I want to see what's going on. Who's going to win? So this is the one with the circle as well. This is really beautiful. So there you go. So I would definitely recommend, say, ordering just the, the two together. Because I ended up, for this situation, for the giveaways, I ended up taking these all apart and left with these you know, circular pieces, which uh, you know I'm going to use on something extraordinary. But, um, yeah, so if you're just using, you know, this as a closure, I would order the, the really inexpensive ones. And I only had one of these that one of these wouldn't open, and it was the most expensive one, so it was the one with the three pieces. I actually already... Like I did a dispute and within an hour I had my money back for it. So, and you still get to keep what it is they sent. So I've since ordered. Now one quick note, if you're ordering multiples of these, pay attention to your cart as you put say two or three or four in the number side of it. Um, watch the shipping uh, thing. If it goes from free shipping to a shipping charge just lower your number and clear it so that it gets back to the free shipping and then just order like order multiples so this is what i did i think it went to the third um, set of these that i put in my cart it added a shipping charge so i brought it down to two and i refreshed and it took the shipping charge off. I paid for those. You can click on just that item, like that seller and that item, and pay for it. And then I went ahead and put it in again. And I did that a couple of times to get it so that I didn't get the shipping charge. You will most likely get it all in one piece. <laughs> and by the way, these came really fast. So, okay, I know you guys <laughs> just like, okay, Emma. Show me my name. Oh, uh, I, sorry, I just, uh, I have stuff to say and I don't want to forget to tell you guys. So I did notice somebody made a comment that um, they have a larger wrist. Let me see if I can bring this down a bit. They have a larger wrist. So absolutely, if you have a larger wrist, don't be shy. Tell me if your name comes up and I will add the beads needed to make a bracelet your size. It's only um, the large eight millimeter bead is only um, eight. Sorry, I think I put in all the kits, I put 10 beads. You only need between eight and nine beads of the eight millimeters. So if you have, say, an eight inch wrist or you like to wear yours a little looser, by all means, let me know. It's no problem at all. I have them all separated, ready to go out, but I have the trays where I took the beads from. So it's just a matter of adding one or two beads. So don't don't be shy and if your name gets called look at my camera's crooked if your name gets called um i want you to email me your address and the email address is emma devoe at gmail.com i will also put it in a um in the like comments and i'll pin it to the top in case you forget so let's get started. So I've already gone ahead and added the names to the comment picker. So it's telling me that I have, let me go back down here, 73 unique comments. So it's funny, I think if you look yourself at the top of the video, it will say something like 108. But they're counting all the multiple comments and then when I comment and stuff like that. So 73, that is great. That's huge 
for my uh, channel. So let's take a look at who the first person is. This is fun. Somebody mentioned that I have so much fun doing the bracelets for the giveaway. You know what? I would do a giveaway every day if the post wasn't so expensive and if there wasn't a huge lineup at the post office. You know, we have a thing that you can do like through a business account where they do pick up which would be awesome, but guess what? They don't do pickup in our area because we're considered the country, but you know what? We're not, like, we're, <laughs> you can see the city from my front door. Oh, uh, it's just where they draw the lines, I guess. So let's get started. <laughs> Woohoo, Bella's Creations. This bracelet is absolutely beautiful. I'm making one tomorrow for sure. That is awesome. So I am just going to, I know I have video of this, so it's not like I won't forget, but I like to put the names Bella's Creations. That is awesome. Okay, so I'm going to add a one here just because, um, I want to make sure I get all six people in here. So where's the... Pick another right here. Let me get rid of this little window. Crumb Tats. Linda. Hi, Emma. I'm from Indiana. The bracelets are beautiful. I really enjoy listening to your stories while watching. Be congrats on 6K. Thank you, Linda. That's awesome. I don't even remember seeing that name and I just read all the comments now. Crumb Tats. Okay, dokey. That's number two. Let's go to number three. Cindy James. <laughs> I won't read the whole thing. Well, maybe I will. Congrats on your 6K subscriber. That is amazing. Good to hear your voice and see your video sorry for your loss of your cat yeah i still really miss buddy i when we go to have supper in the dining room we have a um a china cabinet that's by the door between the kitchen and the dining room so he sits there when it's dinner time because he likes to watch us eat so Last couple of days, I'm like, oh my gosh, I keep seeing him out of the corner of my eye. And I said to my wife, you know, it's funny, your brain is still so used to those pictures that it's like everything else is the same except for that one little thing is missing, but your brain just inserts the picture. She goes, yes, I know, I'm trying not to think about it because <laughs> it's upsetting. But So thank you, everybody, for your kind words and still trying to trying to get through it so sending you big hugs from Wisconsin and many prayers so like you to think of others when you're oh so like you to think of others when you're going through so much yourself bracelets are stunning and I'll be checking out Mila's channel I love Mila I want Mila to adopt me <laughs> I don't have suggestions for buy review pretty sure you have everything <laughs> Your clasps are gorgeous. You find the coolest things. Also, big hug and prayer for Kath. Yes, I definitely wanted to shout out to Kath. She has a bunch of very serious um, medical um, tests coming up this week. So please, everyone, um, think of her and uh, hope that she gets through everything really quickly. She's an amazing friend, and I hope all goes well for her. Thank you for this amazing giveaway. You're very kind. <laughs> so thank you so much, Cindy. So lovely to see your name come up. I think the next giveaway, I'm going to get people to tell me 
how long they've been watching my channel. It's so strange. Feels like I've been doing it forever, but it has not been long at all. <laughs> okay, so let's go to the next one. There's still three more. Ooh, that's crazy. And hello, first time here and loved all your stories. Beautiful work. That is awesome. I'm so glad. So we'll put in name. Okay, we're going to go to the fifth. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Pick another. And I, I forgot to welcome you, and I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm glad you like the stories. There's lots more to come. So I've been trying to deal with depression right now with everything going on with the breast issues and losing the cat and the lockdown and the gyms being closed. And you guys know you're all going through the same kind of things. So I saw my psychiatrist last week. And she made some reference about journaling and you know I've been dealing with mental health my whole life so I've been journaling for years and years and years and I find that the old style of journaling you know rehashing the old stuff and what am I going to do about it and how can I move forward and stuff I find it depressing and I don't want to do it anymore. So when they make that suggestion, I'm usually like, nope, nope, not going to do it. But this time she was so genuine and she also prefaced it. She knows I'm a painter. So she said, you know, you could do some painting and maybe the painting as, as a type of journaling. So if you're feeling sad, you do a sad painting, but make sure you follow it up with a happy painting and stuff. So anyway, I got this like brilliant idea to do a podcast with the stories that I tell. So it would be something like growing up in Toronto in the 70s and what that was like and stuff. So so that's in the works. I've actually written about 30 pages yesterday, just like that. And just to mention, there's an, um, an author, Julia Cameron that has a ton of different books on how to encourage your creativity and she's somebody I follow a lot so I had the books that I had from her when I moved I didn't take them with me so I gave myself a treat and I ended up ordering uh, a few of her books and I'm going to start writing again so it'll be awesome and do some painting and do some fun things so maybe you guys will see some of these fun things that I'm going to do because I'm definitely going to incorporate a, um, one of them is an artist date. So make sure you plan an artist date. So with an artist date, I might make it so that I go to um, one of the thrift stores and buy something and then come home and make something with it or go to Michael's and buy something something that you know I have everything I need so maybe something that I don't have that I wouldn't necessarily buy and then see what comes of it so anyway great ideas so wonderful to have you join us and at this time and let's see who we have next Kim Leon uh, Guerrero Hi, Emma. This is such a beautiful bracelet. I, too, subscribe to Mila's channel. She is very talented designer. Congratulations on 6,000 plus subscribers. I think what you might buy, if you don't already have them, are the needle pullers by Ditz. Such simple but effective little tool. You need a good grip on the needle from your subby. You know what? I think I have them. Oh, I don't know. I'll have to look it up. I'm I'm thinking of I had bought this um tube online for my needles and it came with a set of easy thread needles. So I'm I'm not thinking of the right thing. So yeah, I definitely have to check that out. Stubby from Guam. So 
I think I have sent something to Guam. So if I'm not able to, I was going to say I'll look it up right now, but if I'm not able to send it to Guam, I think I did send something to Guam, but it was on an, um, a, uh, a military base. So the U.S. military base is different. The mail goes to a centralized place and then they mail it. So uh, when you send me your address, we'll do a test. If we have a problem, we'll figure something else out for you. So don't worry. We're going to send you something. That is awesome. Kim. Yeah. And I apologize, I'm just writing this out. We couldn't put Guam, so I'm going to look it up in my post office application. So the faster you get me your information, um, the faster I'll get these out to you. So this is his last one. Gail Burton. <laughs> Hello, Gail. <laughs> That bracelet is beautiful. I went through my pearls to make this. How do you think I would it would look with crystals joining the segments together? I don't have the four millimeter pearls to join. I love this and I plan on making it. Right now I'm working on peyote lighter cover. Oh, peyote lighter cover. If you have any good patterns, please do a tutorial for it. Ooh, I have some patterns, but... Um, yeah, maybe I should do that. It's a, it's a bit meditative to do the pattern. So I'll definitely look into that. And um, I will, I just placed a huge order for four millimeter pearls. So I will definitely send you a set of pearls for sure if they come in time. So that is awesome. Congratulations to all the winners. If you haven't won yet don't fret i do a giveaway for each level up of a thousand subscribers so the next one will be seven people and um i'm not sure how long i'll be able to do that <laughs> but and the funny thing is i have plenty of beads that's no problem you guys can come in and i'll give you a little paper candy bag you can fill your uh, fill your bag with beads and I would still have tons of beads it's the cost of the shipping and with the cost of fuel there's a fuel surcharge on the shipping so it's really uh, affected what's happening now so there you go I want to hurry up and post this I know this is a long video for a uh, giveaway video but I want to take the opportunity to thank everybody. Everybody's been so wonderful through this time. I'm still, I have some good days and some bad days. So I'm working really hard to stay positive. I am pushing myself to sit at my desk and do things and uh, talk to you guys. Because having you guys has really helped my mood. So I really appreciate it. You are all wonderful, wonderful people, and thank you so much for, you know, creating this channel with me. This is not my channel. It would not exist in a vacuum. So it's what you guys do and the comments you put in there and the requests you make and the participation that really makes it and spurs me on to keep going. So thank you so much. Take care, everybody, and I will just quickly go through the list of people who won. So we have Belle's Creation, Crumb Tats, Linda, Cindy James, Anne, Kim Leon Guerrera from Guam, and Gail Burton. Take care, everybody. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.